my boy. Hey, Arthur! What you want? <laughs> One sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> Enchanted forest, this place is it. No, I wonder why they called it Balance. Oh, life is good. You hear that, Mr. Pearson? Life is very good, very good indeed. So, all of you keep busy and stay out of the worst. Prince turned into a toad, lovers into stone, entire country turned into morons. Curses everywhere. Well, I didn't quite understand what the woman was saying. Kind of her being a bit of an idiot. Some about a massacre, a last surviving Indian, cursing the county. Well, if they massacre people, then they deserve to be cursed.
Richard Peterson. Oh, hi, Uncle. City for her spree and all, while all my world traveling and roaming around. I spied a fair maiden so lovely. Gently on her I did say, she pulled her rumbling, Mr. Pearson. So scared it would soil. I out with old Phoenix went pouring for oil. I hadn't been boring six inches or more. Still all from my auger so freely did pour. She wiggled her ass, looked up and smiled, said, Bear down on your auger, for I know you struck all. Things went on and on for a week or ten days. My auger machinery got to fire in some ways. been on the stage. Well done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. Sadly. He's just a younger version of you. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. I don't know why you're still here, Reverend. At the campfire? No, here. With us. 